an AP election update. I'm Julie Pace. While much of the attention in these midterm elections is on what happens in the House and Senate campaigns, there are plenty of close, important races for governor in states across the country. We'll take you through what we know so far tonight. In Massachusetts, Democrat Deval Patrick fought off a tough Republican challenge to win a second term in office. Democrats also won the governor's race in Colorado, with Denver Mayor John Higginlooper pulling out a win. In South Carolina, Nikki Haley, a rising star in the Republican Party, claimed victory, though her race was closer than many expected. I want to bring in AP political reporter Phil Elliott. Phil, we also have close governor's races in Ohio and in Florida. Mm -hmm. Now, why are these states and their governor's races so important back here in Washington to the president? It's important to the president because his re-election bid is going to be heavily influenced by who's sitting in the governor's office. Also important to the president's re-election bid, the number of members of Congress determine how many electoral votes to get the state. People who control the state government determine how, who gets districted in, who gets districted out, and who gets to be a powerful surrogate as a member of Congress for the president. And, and it also puts in sort of a built-in get-out-the-vote operation in these states, right? Right. People care a lot when the governor says, you know, why don't you come out? Why don't you go support President Obama's re-election? Former governors aren't current governors. Current governors draw crowds. Former governors draw fond memories. And Phil, you really cut your political teeth in Ohio. Mm -hmm. Strickland came into office very popular. What's happened to lead him into this close race he's into tonight? Strickland won a, a very tough race in 2006. Uh, he promised a lot. He promised bold agenda, promised to help the economy get back. That was when the economy was considered good. Now the economy there is in utter shambles. He doesn't have the tax revenue to pay for the programs he promised. And people are saying, you know, you promised us education overhaul. You promised us tons of stuff, nothing's happened. And he's really going to be paid, punished for what he promised four years ago. AP political reporter Phil Elliott, thanks for joining us tonight. There's one more race I want to mention that's in the Senate, Wisconsin. The liberal Democrat Russ Feingold has been unseated by Republican Ron Johnson. Still plenty of big races yet to be called, so stay with us throughout the night and into the morning. I'm Julie Pace with an AP election update.